don't know if I've got enough light on me. Hold on here. Uh, it's Friday morning. It's about quarter after seven. I was curious about what the geometry was involved in this front suspension. So I jacked the car up with the bumper, with the regular jack, and I uh, got the wheel off. The bolts were fairly easy to take off. Um, I maybe had to tap them a couple times with the ball of my fist to get the to get the thing to break loose, and then they just the bolts rolled right off the lugs. Uh, I took off the wheel, and I saw where the suspension was, as in the photographs that I took last night, about four inches away. Uh, I went in and I turned the wheel because I wanted to look at the suspension on the other side of the car, try and get in from behind or in front to see the geometry of that, if there might have been like the the, uh, the tie rod might have been bent or something like that. Uh, I didn't see any evidence of that. Well, when the wheel came off, the thing sort of naturally aligned itself a little bit closer. I've got photographs of that with, that I took with a Nikon. And now, I'll show you the wheel. The wheel now is away from the uh, splash guard. So it's sort of naturally moved forward a little bit. And it's a little bit closer. Obviously, it's not. I also discovered, obviously, it's not okay, but I, I uh, discovered... I discovered that the uh, pin is a single pin that goes in and the receptacle that it screws into is welded to the frame. So there's no bolt involved at all. The fact that this pin came out where it came out is, a, is just a miracle. If this had happened on the highway, who knows what would have happened. That tire probably would have hit the back of the wheel well. It would have stopped immediately. One corner braking in bad weather could have been just catastrophic but it happened here in the garage <laughs> how it's just beyond me how it did that but uh, I put the wheel back on I'll just show you the alignment of the wheel now I well, turned the light toward it sorry see now the wheel is away from the mud guard uh, hopefully that'll be enough for them to tow it out of here that it's not going to damage it any further. Here's the the pin. I'll hold this up so you can see. I'll hold it in the light. You can see, well, the light sort of lights up some silvery areas. But there's a lot of rust there. I don't know how long that thing has just been sitting in there not connected or if it, it must have just happened I mean it had to have but uh, she's been complaining about noises in the front of the vehicle for quite some time even right after she got the car back from the from the work from the suspension work whenever that I don't even know what that is I haven't even looked at the uh, the paperwork to see when we had that done but the pin seems to be in good shape I don't there's no evidence of any cracks or anything like that uh, I would imagine they'd want to replace it anyway just to be safe but uh, that's where we sit right now. I'm going to go ahead and call the towing company and uh, have them come get this thing. I'd almost be tempted to do it myself, but uh, two bad rotator cuffs and not having a lever to move that suspension around with, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let them do it. Uh, hopefully they're going to cover the cost of this. This is just scary. Somebody didn't torque the bolt when they uh, uh, put the CV boots and the bushings on. Or uh, there's, something, there's something really bad about these cars. This thing should have a cotter pin on the top of it. There should be something that locks that in once it's been put up into the frame. There should be a pin that goes through the, 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 the top of this thing to keep it from just loosening itself and dropping right out. Anyway, go Ravens. I'll wipe my feet on it again.